Hello, this is uh, Roland Jung from ePlan Canada. I will talk about smart engineering, smart production. I've already had this first video that actually talked about the perfect platform that works for this. And we talked about getting the perfect building material together. But now next step. Next step is basically, you know, uh, what can we do uh, maybe as an advanced integrator? Uh, this this is a three level concept where you know we bring the people uh, from step one level one to level two level three. What consists of the benefits when you look at an ePlan advanced integrator? Well, it all starts in this journey we talked about, and we actually now focus on the manufacturing side of things because. You know, those people, we talked about it, already did the perfect engineering, the perfect 100% sourcing. They pulled out all the data they could for the Phoenix contact labeling and, and marking systems. So now, what else can we do on the manufacturing side? Well, you know, in ePlan, and you may know, you may not know, um, when you do actually your schematics, you build up the perfect build material. We talked about this, and then we go to our panel layout, and in this panel layout here, we actually dump these components. What is interesting is with minimum of effort, see what components are in the schematics and which ones have not yet been placed. You can see it here. And the idea, of course, behind this 100% is to actually pick up all the parts you want to drag and drop and position into your um, panel layout course here if I have a few of them I can pick them you can see they're all different sizes and different um, components I can just drag and drop them zoom in a little bit place them there they will try to position themselves side by side and what you may have seen earlier also is that by doing this particular placement we get these parts placed we also have a direct link back to the schematics this is actually the beauty about this platform because your schematics, like your 3D, are all together. And you can actually take this component, take this component, just zoom in, F, and it actually will bring you to the counterpart, right? Here, go to counterpart, F, and it will actually jump to the specific schematic where everything started. This was already explained. Now, another thing that is interesting is, of course, um, being like smart, Navigators has also some smart filters. You can just filter down to components that have not been placed. For instance, here I can see we have a few terminals that haven't been placed. Now, terminals typically get placed in a group together with a terminal strip, and they often are placed on something we call a DIN rail. Now, of course, every time you place a DIN rail, whether it's like right here or in a different fashion, you actually expect the system to understand that I need some holes, right? You can see here, So if I move this component a little bit out of the way and I stretch it out a little bit and I make this uh, DIN rail a little bit longer, I expect the holes to actually also go to the far end left-hand side and as far as possible on the right-hand side. The same applies to my ducts and my rails. This drilling, of course, everyone can do. I mean, drill a hole. But I don't know if you've seen this or you've heard about it. Uh, when you actually uh, talk to some of our colleagues from, from Rital, you can see that, you know, if we focus on the manufacturing side, so here I'm on the ePlan side, it could be on the Rital side, same, same thing. And when we look down into manufacturing here, you will see that there are a few uh, things uh, interesting that being, uh, Rital can do uh, here. One of these things is this perforex. We do have a perforation machine or a drilling machine, so to call, that can actually drill all the holes for you. This is quite of an interesting aspect because not only does this perforex um, allow to drill holes, but it also allows to cut out, you know, HMI uh, rectangles or for fans or whatever uh, that are a little bit more complex. 
or even specific shapes because it's a spindle uh, system. There's also a laser cutting machine that is more laser oriented. And what these companies offer, in particular Rital here, and it has been copied by uh, a few others, they offer what we call a, a mod center. Just here in Canada, we do a couple of millions just in modifications to prepare the panel so it's all ready and you receive it and it's all drilled. Now, for this to actually happen, we of course have to understand that behind the scene, every component here, like a shadow, shadow means I move this component a little bit up or down, doesn't matter, and these holes will immediately follow that component. That's a cool thing because I can now automatically, I can send this project to Rital and they will basically or primarily take my project as it is and they can pre-drill all the holes that are necessary on the back plate, on the front door, on the side door. Everything is automatically done. And of course, you can do it on your own by a Perforex if you have enough volume and you can do it there, right? I know a lot of people say, ah, this is an easy task. Everyone can do it. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll ask you to put them up to the challenge and go and check out how much they actually cost and how much of a, a quality gain you get out of this. Okay, this being said, this is the NC drilling, perforate, uh, use the mud center if you, you, you do not have the volume for, for buying this uh, machine. Really interesting. Now, of course, in this digital twin, like we said earlier with Phoenix Contact planning, what we did earlier is we added these extra accessories. I mean, it may sound like very, very detailed, but these really these details about all of these additional accessories, they do add a few millimeters here and there. And they are actually also what makes one terminal or the other terminal actually so called CSA approved or UL approved because you can't just have an open ended connection. So for instance, like you can see on these ones here, I do not or I did not run the clip project planning and I don't have the auto correction, which actually added these extra, let's say, uh, clip fixes with the label and eventually the correct um, 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 isolating plate as what we saw earlier. So of course, this one will have to be corrected. And this is really, you know, it's a tiny thing. You saw it in the earlier version, just an earlier video. Uh, all we have to do is really run in there and quickly uh, run through the uh, tool that is here called Project Complete Planning, and it will actually correct it. Now, this is one aspect that is quite interesting. Um, the, the other aspect, like I said, was the NC drilling. And we expect the people to actually understand this so that once um, you look at the different reports that ePlan can generate, these new holes or these new items, whether they are done manually or through the mud center or differently, we actually can say for sure that with the type of documentation I can now produce with this so-called digital twin, I can be much more precise. We, we know a small company, a Swedish company, all of us actually love and they have this perfect documentation to follow you step by step, you know, through first pick the right parts. That's the kitting. And then second, in our case here, of course, we're not assembling any wooden pieces. We are actually cutting docks and rails. And you can see this new item here is item number eight. I didn't number it specifically, but it has exactly the length of 10 inches or 270 millimeters, depending on what you prefer, you know, on, on your, your cutting side. You can prepare these ducts and rails. Now, if you do use the mod center from Rital, you could simply send this project via our cloud to Rital, and they would prepare the specific um, uh, backplate and it they would pre-drill according to this table we have here. Now, for them or for you, if you buy a Perforex, it's just a very simple step because it's part of the smart data. It's here within the machining. We can simply send it to the Rital Processing Center or Rital Perforex BC or Perforex LC, depending on what type of machine, whether it's the spindle or the laser machine. 
we have a direct interface that actually feeds the machine. You can actually go and see some videos, most likely, if you just go here on, uh, you know, Google, and you type in uh, YouTube, um, Rital Perforex, you will see, most likely, remember this blonde girl, um, you look at this, and they will actually show you how one of these machines work. Uh, they have other videos that actually compare when you do it. The Rital Perforex LC3050. Check it out. It's, it's really awesome because in a few minutes, what they do is they take your uh, back plate, they take your front end, whichever machine you look at, you know, whether it's the Perforex. We'll see how the videos actually show it very well. Uh, there is the man versus machine comparison. No need to actually compare this. Uh, everyone knows that the machine will, will be the winner. But hey, you can get that as a service from Rital um, for really a decent money. Look into it. Otherwise, just buy the, the Perfrex and you'll see it produces more than, you know, probably five or six people could produce in, in, in a day or even more. It's, it's, it's amazing how and, and how accurate it actually works out. And the interesting thing behind it is if you ever add something to a different surface, automatically it actually appears. So let's say I go here in this door and I actually add, let's say, some uh, fans. So I have here within the uh, e-plan here, we have a few different fans. I'm going to take one of 110. I'm just going to add that fan. It actually fits down here. What this does, and it's not much, but it actually requires a, a square hole with, you know, the, the, the four bolts and knots. Now, if I go back to this side here and I rerun, let's say, my so-called reports, this system will automatically detect that we have now two surfaces which actually require some holes. And it will automatically generate here two different drilling sheets for these two different uh, items. So you can see them here, of course, if I go again in my cutting, there's nothing in my drilling here. I now have two. One is this one here, that's for the door. And again, if you run through the mod center, you won't have to do anything on that side. So by using the digital twin, um, we know that you can actually build a panel a little bit quicker because you can actually benefit from these modification centers and we also know that you will most likely not come into mistakes of having components you know colliding with the back uh, plate components um, you will be able to actually have something very very precise and of course this is the whole intention behind this ePlan Advance Integrator so you can expect from him a higher quality documentation more details, more precision. Uh, they most likely uh, will uh, be very efficient on their panel build. And I can only say this is really what we think about when we say smart engineering and production and smart production.